guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle Series, The School of Hard Knocks. So throughout this episode, like every other, we'll be jumping on to the Pokemon Global Link Battle Spot Ladder, playing under the Championship Battle Rules, which is the current rule set of the VGC 2018 season. It is Friday. It is an absolutely glorious day outside, so the sun is shining. Who is not happy? Hope you're all having a great day. We are going to finish up the week with this uh, regionals team from Stuttgart that I ran this past weekend. Um, so we're going to finish up with that today. Get your suggestions in right now for what you want to see played next week going forward because I am going to be bringing a new team. Um, I am away over the weekend, but I will have a little bit of time on Monday when I come back to potentially throw something together. So get your ideas in, get your suggestions in. If we don't get anything done on Monday, I will have a new team regardless. Um, and then we'll just kind of compile ideas going forward for the next week or two and then we will get what you guys want to see on the channel ASAP. But, as always guys, if you enjoy the content, do leave a like, subscribe to the, the, the channel, all that jazz. It does really help out everything that I'm doing. Um, but, more importantly, um, we are the last day. So this is the last chance. If you haven't already entered the prize draw, the giveaway that we're doing to, to celebrate the launch of flinched clothing, then get your get yourselves entered right now because this will be the last video. After today, I am cutting off the competition and we're gonna do a live draw. I'll not be a live, but I'll be doing a pre-recorded live draw on Monday for the winners. So there'll be three winners. We're giving three t-shirts away, t-shirt of your choice. All you need to do to enter to celebrate the birth of flinched clothing is like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment just saying which t-shirt out of these initial three designs is your favorite. That is it. Simple as that. And then we'll do the Wheel of Fortune like we've done in the past for other giveaways on Monday. And then I will have the t-shirt shipped to your door to the, the three lucky winners. T-shirt of choice, size of choice, everything like that. So it should be a lot of fun. So make sure you get entered. And uh, just let me know what your thoughts are on the Flinch Clothing brand as well. So I'd love to hear. Anyway, on to more important things. Not saying that the t-shirts aren't important, but we are here to do some battling and um, hopefully we, we have a little bit better success than we did on Wednesday with the team. I mean, it wasn't bad. We got to show off the, the Fireinium on Naganadel. Let's go Rainbow Rocket today. We haven't had that for a while. We've got a first opponent from Japan, 1695 rated opponent, and they're running a team of Komo, Zapdos, Metagross, Lele, Incineroar and Alola Marowak, so hmm. a double fairy call could be quite nice here, especially for that coma off it tries to set up if we can have both fairies on the field at the same time, it's quite nice to stop that Z move. Um, yeah, the big problem there is obviously the, the Metagross, um, but Naganadel's not bad here to be honest. Um, it does good damage to the Metagross, it does good damage to the, the Tapu Lele, um, it can outspeed the coma off and get some chip onto it. Um, okay, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think we, we definitely want Finny here because it changes the terrain into our favour. Um, it does good work against Incineroar, Lol, and Marowak. Um, I've got to be a bit careful with that Zapdos. Um, but again, it's so good against that Koma or so I don't see why we wouldn't bring it. I think what I might do here is just to scout out. I'm going to need Landorus and Naganadel. And then I'm going to bring Gardevoir and Tepu Finny in the back. Because the reason that I'm going to lead, this is kind of what, what I want to set up. Because leading Landorus here, because we're running Scarf Landorus, and it under speeds, modest max speed Tapulele. So we can scout out to see if that Tapulele, if they lead Metagross Tapulele, it's a nice indicator for us to see if that Tapulele is scarfed or not. To see if Anna Ganondale is going to be safe going in to attack into that Metagross, potentially, because that's going to be the idea here. We want to get rid of the Metagross, makes our lives so much easier after that. Because then our fairies are a lot a lot more free to do what they want to do. So we'll see the, the Landorus and the Ganadel come out for ourselves and my opponent leading off with the Metagross and the Zapdos. Okay, so hmm. At least we don't see any Tapu Lele come out. Now we've got a few options here. We could go for a sub pr predicting that the Metagross protects here. Or we could go for the fire Iranium and just kind of pull the trigger straight away to get rid of it. Um, you've got to imagine that the Zapdos probably wants a tailwind the Metagross wants to, to protect here. That's what I would kind of guess. 
Um, the only problem is if the Zapdos Tailwinds and the Metagross doesn't protect and um, we lose our sub on Naganadel, uh, that makes things super, super awkward for ourselves. Uh, so I kind of want to pull the trigger a little bit here. So I think what I'm going to do is U-turn into Zapdos and I am going to go for that Inferno Overdrive into the Metagross. And let's hope that we don't see the Metagross protect. So we are going to see the Metagross Mega Evolve. It's not going to hang around. No protect. So, <clears throat> what we can do here is bring in God of War because we know God is going to be safe. It's not going to take any damage from this Metagross because this Metagross is going to be saying a quick adios in like five seconds. So we get the, the God of War in. What are we going to trace? Probably pressure. Yeah, this god he, like absolutely loves pressure, so. And here we go, here's the Z move. And then a Ganadel, full power. Gonna get rid of this Metagross. We'll see what this Zapdos goes for. It's likely going to go for a Tailwind to help set up that Coma all. There's a the Tailwind. And now we see the Coma all come in for my opponent, I'd imagine. And I might have to forego that boost and switch out Naganadel into Affini, but I don't mind doing that if it means kind of nullifying. The, the the boost, but we don't see that. We see the Tabulele kind of come onto the field, so that's that's also fine. I mean, one option I've got here is I could Trick Room with Gardevoir and switch in Finny, um, or I could protect Naganadel and Trick Room. Hmm. I kind of want to get rid of the Psychic terrain now. Because if the Tapu Lele's got Shafted Psyche, it could just go for it into that Naganadel. I'm going to Mega Evolve Trick Room. And I'm going to switch Naganadel out. We'll keep it around for later on in the match. I can't see the Zapdos going for a, a T-Ball into the Naganadel. But they could make a hard read, predicting that Finny comes in that slot. The worst thing here is going to be the taunt from the Lele potentially coming out into the God of War to stop that trick room. Shadow Ball. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, gets a special defense drop. Oh, do we take the T-Bolt? Oh, that is super annoying. Like, um, that special defense drop, like, was pretty big there. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's switch in the Gandel. We're gonna have to try and stall this tailwind out now. Ugh. This is super awkward. Um. Okay, we'll protect the Gandel this turn. So you are heavily threatened. Uh. Let's get Landorus in. This is likely T-Ball comes into the Finny slot. And I think without that special defense drop, we take the T-Ball all day long. We're sitting at about 50% health. Okay, Tapu Lele gonna switch out. We see Incineroar come in. At least we know the Coma R is not here. Incineroar coming in. He's gonna get that Intimidate off. Not gonna matter too much. Let's see. Hopefully we don't see a Hidden Part Ice come into this slot. That would be... Disastrous for us. We'll just protect Naganad out. There's the Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to Sludge Bomb. 
into the Zapdos and I'm going to switch Lando out into Tepa Finney. Because Naganadel probably gets faked out here. Probably well, might want to fake out the Landorus. Alright, no fake out. Just hidden power coming out into the Finney. So at least we know that's what the Zapdos has got. We do get a, a sludge bomb into the Zapdos. Which does critical hit, gets the poison. Which is nice and no. Okay, so we see a knockoff. We are going to lose the berry on Finney. This is alright though because we can take the Zapdos down now. Get a boost for free. Um, and what I'm going to do, because my opponent doesn't want to switch in the Lele on that slot, I'm going to switch out Finny into Landorus because I want to be able to get rid of that Psychic Terrain. We get another Intimidate onto this Incineroar. Uh, this Incineroar going to switch out. Okay. I wonder if it's Scarfed Lele. Because it switched out after the, it locked itself into the Shadow Ball, didn't it? Now we do get a Beast Boost now. And this is a time when we don't want to be wasting this. In this situation, it might seem like it's better just leaving the, the Psychic Terrain up. Um, so the Incineroar can't fake out. And it's not going to fake out anyway, but I... Huh. I mean, one way I could scout is just protect Naganadel and go for a U-turn into the Incineroar with Landorus. And then we can see who goes first. The Lele goes before us. Has a fake out. Right, let's ha let's pay attention. Psychic. Yeah, so it's scoffed. 100% scoffed. Okay. That means we're going to have to deal with it with Finny. <laughs> yeah, so let's switch in Finny. Let's U turn on the Tapulele. It means we can get the Naganadel in on, on the liner a slot before we potentially take a knockoff from that Incineroar as a psychic. Uh, special defense drop again. Okay, we did get some chip onto it. That drop is not our friend at all. And what's the Incineroar going to do? Z move. It's gone for the Inferno Overdrive. This has got to be into the Naganadel. I think again with that special defensive drop, it feels like Finny now will be in range for a Psychic. Naganadel taking that Z move. Um, hmm. I mean, I could try and Calm Mind. Calm Mind and Sludge Bomb. I'm either going to get one of the two off. Or do I just Moonblast? No, I'm going to Calm Mind. I'm going to Calm Mind and Sludge Bomb into the Lele. My opponent might think I protect the Naganadel and just attack into the Lele here. No. It's too threatened from the Naganadel. I 
There's a flare bit. Because we haven't got a berry. Nah, we're not going to take a psychic from this range. <laughs> huh. I wonder if we're better just earthquaking now with Landorus. Because two earthquakes will take down the Lele. Two earth powers will take down the Lele though. But two earthquakes will take both down. So I could kind of halt at my opponent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna earthquake. I'm gonna protect Finny. And I hope that the Lele attacks into that slot. Nope. But if the Landorus goes down here then... Oh, maybe not. Oh, so close! So close! Flare Blitz into the Finny. Okay. We got Muddy Water and we got Earthquake. If they don't attack into the Landorus now, we get the Earthquake, take everything down. If they attack into the Landorus, we get the Muddy Water, take both things down. So we should, either way, be alright. So there's the Psychic into the Landorus. We get the Muddy Water and we should win this. Hits. Excellent. That was tough. It was class. We managed to get round. Round the special defensive drops. Like if God of War got the trick room off when we went for it, that game would have been so much easier to kind of deal with. Like so much easier. Like the 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 Lele would have been a, a dream to kind of deal with. Um, but kind of scouting that it was scoffed when we did did help us kind of get in a position where we need to close the game out. So. Um, and even though that it was a bit indecisive about earthquaking, it kind of proved to be the best move because it locked the game for us that last turn. So, all worked out all right in the end, which is always good. So, let's move on to our next game. Hopefully, I'd like to finish with a win. And I tell you what, for a change, let's just go with trainer version one music because we never choose that. And let's see how long it takes for us to find a nice opponent Yes. Whew. You know some games where you're like, wow that was close. That was good. That was good. I feel that was that was a good game. Hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know your your thoughts on it anyway. So we've got our next opponent from Bolivia. We've got Alexander rocking a team of Serena, Tapacoco, Gothitelle, Incineroar, Naya Legal, and Gyarados. So a nice fire water grass call there with his Serena. You're gonna stop all those um, you know fake outs, priority moves. Can be a little bit problematic if we brought the Breloom, especially fake out from our Incineroar, uh, because of that Queenly Majesty ability that it has. Uh, we do see the Gothitelle. That's going to be that is going to be problematic because of the trap. Um, it does make things a little bit awkward. But we do have pivots in our team, so we can adjust our board position accordingly. Uh, we've got double Intimidate from my opponent uh, with the Incineroar and the Gyarados. We've got the Tapu Koko that's going to be again a bit awkward to deal with, but. <laughs> What, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I think we want to bring... I might lead God of War Incineroar here. Oh, do I want to... Maybe not. Maybe Lando Incineroar and... Hmm. Do I want Finny? Ha. Huh. Finny's going to be difficult. Like, it's going to be Mega Gyarados, right? So Finny would be good. Finny's good against Incineroar. It's just the, the Serena that... But with double intimidate, it's not so bad. I think we go with this. I think this is going to be tricky, but... It's more tricky with the Gothitelle. If we can kind of eliminate the Gothitelle, the matchup gets ten times easier. But I feel like early stages of the game, we're going to be relying on guarding quite a bit. To try and get some control. So we see Tapu Koko Serena come out for my opponent. 
and we lead off with a God of War and a Landorus. So, we do get the Intimidate onto the Serena and the Tepe Coco. Reveal it with Scarfed as well. And we're going to trace the Queenly Majesty. Which is kind of nice. Um, hmm. And what do we do to one? Like, we've got the potential to pick up a kill on either target here. Like, we could kill the Serena, we could U-turn into it and Hyper Voice. Um, or we could just Earth Power the type of Coco on and then Hyper Voice as well. Mm. I'm kind of tempted to just Earth Power the Coco, but I don't really want to get locked into Earth Power. And I feel like the Coco feels super threatened here, so... I might U-turn out on Serena. Serena might protect as well. Hmm. We could U-turn out on the Coco. No, I'm going to U-turn out on the Serena. So let's do that. So Coco might protect here. I'm worrying about the Earth Power. But my opponent might just go for... Yeah. Not gonna worry about. We will be able to get rid of the Serena this turn. Because a hyper voice should take it from 50%, I would say. Um let's bring in Tep and Finny, get the terrain in our control. And if that Coco goes for a Gigabot Havoc into the Guardi, then it means at least we're not gonna be taking as much damage as well. Hmm, just a dazzling gleam. Okay. We do not mind that. We get the hyper voice off. It's all about taking this Serena down. Oh, which we don't. We just miss the kill. Empower it. Where's it into? Gaudi. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to protect God of War and I'm going to bring in. Hmm. I mean, one thing I could do is just pull a double switch. Which probably isn't a bad thing to do. Like, switch Guardi out into Landorus. And then... Cinero. Or I could just protect Finny here. Yeah. Let's protect, because then we can trap the Coco, and if it tries to go for a Vault Switch. No, it's just going to withdraw. I'm going to see Incinero come in. Okay. Hmm, we could have just went for the hyper voice there. Serena probably protects. There's the power. No, Serena not protecting. Okay. So, let's U turn into the Serena. Um, iron Muddy Water. Because the Incineroar is likely going to fake out, but if it fakes out the lander, so we don't get the U2, we get the Muddy Water. Okay. Let's see the Serena just protect you. I'm going to see a knockoff, maybe. Hmm. Do get the Muddy Water. Please hit. Yes. Okay. Probably see the Incineroar go for a knockoff into lander. You get the accuracy drop. That's pretty big. Okay, yeah, they're, it's going to lose the choice scarf. Makes it a little bit more awkward to deal with the, the Tapu Koko. But we will still U-turn out on that slot. Um, hmm. And I think I'm going to switch out Finny into... I'm going to switch into Guardi, because it's likely that that Incineroar goes for another knockoff. And minus two, I think Guardi will take. And once we get rid of the Serena, we can... Yeah, so the Incinera is just switching out. Garado's coming in. Okay. This is fine, because like once we get rid of the Serena, like I was about to say, um, we can get the Incinera on and actually utilize the fake out. Save the Serena. Yeah, it's going to stay and we're going to get rid of it. Which is good. <coughs> So we get the 
Incineroar in. And we'll get a crucial Incineroar onto this Gyarados. And we see the Incineroar come in for my opponent here. It'd make a lot of sense if we did. Yeah. I'm going to fake out the Gyarados, and we're going to get faked out 100%, so we're probably better off preserving. kind of want to get the double Intimidate off onto Poison Gyarados, but it's probably a good idea to try and get Finian right now. Because then we can all switch... Incineroar up for our landers, get the double intimidate onto the opposing and Gyarados. Maybe try and get a calm mind up as well. And start spamming some muddy water moon blasts. <sighs> it's a shame that we missed the, the KO on the Serena. Um, okay, so faking out into the Gyarados is just going to protect. And Incineroar gone for a U turn. Okay. It's going to U-turn out into the Coco. Hmm. She's a nice play for my opponent. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for a... Uh, huh. Probably should go for a U-turn onto the Gyarados, and then I'm gonna switch. Finny out for Landers. We might see a double in on this slot, and we might see the Gyarados go for a, a Dragon Dance here. It's always a possibility. But if we can keep cycling these Intimidates, we kind of stop it from becoming too out of control. And what I want to do right now is try and get Guardian with Incineroar on the field to utilize the fake out and get a trick room up. That would be ideal, but easier said than done. Okay, so Lander is going to get that Intimidate onto the Gyarados again. Thunderbolt into Lander is going to see a Dragon Dance. Okay, so we get a free U-turn. Gonna get rid of this electric train, which is a big thing here. Do a switching guardy. And then get Incinero in on the lander slot. Hmm. No, let's get huh. Yeah, let's get the Finny in. Hmm. Tech Finny, switch in. Cinero, it's going to take a waterfall. And I don't think Finny takes a T-Bot from this range. Potentially not. It could be Z-Move as well. And let's bring in Incineroar. For Landorus. And try and get try and get it in. I mean we we'll probably take a waterfall here. And Coco probably goes for a T-Bot. But if we can get Incineroar, like Incineroar should take a minus two waterfall. Coco gonna switch out. Okay. Mm. This is a really nice play from my opponent. Kind of playing into the fact that the, the Finny has to protect here, really. And we don't really want to risk anything too big right now. So there's a Gyarados Mega Evolving. Okay. Let's 
And there's this waterfall going into. Unless the dragon dances again. Which you could potentially do. No waterfall. So you see the mm, We take that pretty well actually. Um, I think what I'm going to do is calm mind with Finny. And I'm going to protect. I'm going to fake out into the Incineroar. Yeah. Because the Gyarados might protect here and the Incineroar try for the U-turn again. And if we can just nick a cheeky Calm Mind, that's pretty nice for us. Because the Gyarados has to feel pressured here because of the fake out and the, uh, the Moonblast. We might just want to trade fake outs, that's the thing, like. But if the Gyarados goes oh it goes for another dragon dance, okay. It means we get that free free calm mind off though. Which is pretty good. Okay. So does Gyarados protect? It probably does. I'm gonna muddy water because I feel like the Coco comes in. Um and do a sack God of War here. Um hmm. Yeah. Let's sack Guardy. Cause it's potential like waterfall into that slot, right? So we'll switch out. Ah but the Incineroar just goes for the U-turn, doesn't it? Well, if it takes muddy water. So there's a waterfall, as you expected. Yeah, God, he's gonna go down. We could have got the moon blast off there. I wonder if this takes the incinerator. It depends if it's a salt vest or not. That's the big thing. Yeah, it's definitely a salt vest, right? Yeah, hundred percent. We're gonna see a U-turn. Yeah, and in comes Coco. But at the same time, we get incinerator and we've got the fake out. We could just muddy water again. Hmm. And I don't think my opponent's going to allow me just to fake out into the Coco and Moonblast, the Gyarados. Um. <laughs> So I could call mind again and fake out the call call. And it's kind of like a free t turn to do that, I guess. We might see the call call switch out to the Incineroar again, but the Gyarados probably protects here. Gyarados definitely protects here. So this is a, like a free call mind for us. I wonder if the fake out will be enough to take the Incineroar down. Maybe not. Nah, it can't be. Gyarados protects. Okay. No, it's not enough. Okay. Let's protect Finny. Uh, let's switch in Landorus. Oh, I don't know if Landorus will take a waterfall. Even on, like, whatever the Gyarados is going to be on, like, minus... Two minus three after this intimidate. But if it doesn't, it gives us that opportunity again to get our incineral back in. Let's see. Fake out the finning you have to. Yeah. There's a waterfall. Like it'd be amazing if we take this. Yeah, we do. Wow, okay. Because now we can... Um, we can Moonblast the Gyarados. And we can U-turn in on the Incineroar. Because the Gyarados, yeah, it has to... Like, if it doesn't go for the Waterfall here, then we get the U-turn off. If it goes for it, we lose Landorus, but at the same time, we get the Incineroar. And we get our Incineroar in. The Gyarados is just protected, so we can fake out the call call this next turn. Moonblast, the Gyarados, 
pick up the kill. They have to kind of go for the double protect as well. And then we've got Incineroar to deal with. Well, potentially Incineroar. We might not have Incineroar. We might have... Just Finny. But... If the Coco comes in and we time it right, this, this electric terrain is going to run out soon. And we'll definitely take a T-Bolt without the electric terrain. But my players, my opponent's time has run out. So we win. On time. But I think we would have locked that up there. Because we fake out into the Coco, the Gyarados has to go for that double protect. It's likely it doesn't get it. So we get the Moonblast off take that down then we've got um potentially we take a wolf well if they go for the double protect then we've got incineral finny then that's easy other thing is my opponent doesn't go for the double protect wants to go for the waterfall thinking i'm not going to risk this i can get a waterfall off take the incineral down which they do i'm pretty sure at that point the electric terrain runs out the next turn because that would have been the fifth turn of it being on the field since activating and like I say, we've got two Calm Minds up there with 50% health. I think we take a T-Ball. Uh, unless the Corco has got the Z-Move, which we could have kind of scouted for. Um, so, still might have been a little bit up in the air. But you don't know. I think we would have been alright. But my opponent's time ran out and we do take it. So, finishing the week off. I feel like we had two really good games today, guys. Uh, really good games. Solid games. And really show the team how it can perform uh, when, when, you, when you play it nice and solid like that i guess anyway i hope you've enjoyed it anyway have an amazing weekend guys uh, let me know your thoughts on today's games i would love to hear i will just give you a quick reminder that uh, get your uh, entries in like sub leave a comment let me know which one you like best and then you're entered and then we'll do the prize draw on monday and i can't wait to do it just as uh Give you guys a little thanks as well for supporting the channel like you do so much. Um, but I'm not going to drag this on any longer because we are 37 minutes dragging on a little bit. But uh, have an amazing weekend, guys. Let me know what you're up to. And I will see you all on Monday for another episode of School Hard Knocks. Thanks for tuning in, supporting and all that jazz. And uh, just have a great weekend. And I will see you all later. So until then, guys, take care and bye-bye.